Deep within West Virginia's Monongahela National Forest lies a rare stand of virgin woods. Living in the east, there's not many places that you can go and, and, and be untouched, untouched by man. Shane Jones is a biologist with the U.S. Forest Service. He says a mapping mistake spared these trees when the surrounding forest was logged decades ago. That's good because red spruce forests like this one excel at taking planet warming carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and locking it away in the soil. See all that organic material? It's black because it's incredibly high in carbon. The mountains of Appalachia have lost 90% of their red spruce forests to logging and coal mining. Burning that coal for energy is adding more and more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. As the planet warms, scientists say the need for forests to remove that CO2 is increasingly urgent. The University of Kentucky's Chris Barton says tropical rainforests get the most attention. But here in the temperate region of the world, in Appalachia, four hours away from Washington, D.C., we have billions of trees that potentially we could be planting. Where better, Barton says, than here on the remains of old strip mines? That's one reason Barton started a group called Green Forests Work, to put trees back on the roughly 400,000 hectares of Appalachian forests that have been strip mined away. But there's a problem with many of these lands. If you went out and planted trees on these sites, they just didn't grow. The ground was way too you know, compacted, um, water didn't infiltrate, roots can't penetrate, oxygen can't circulate in those environments. The solution looks more like a Game of Thrones battleground than a forest in the making. Ripping up the compacted ground will let the trees they plant put down roots. Barton says it's not always easy to convince people it's a good idea. We've had a lot of people kind of look at us twice. Um, but it's the, the really interesting thing about it is after we do it, there's no question that that was the right thing to do. They're starting to see results. Forests are coming back on the grounds they've ripped up and replanted. In West Virginia alone, restoring red spruce to its old habitat could lock up the equivalent of 56 million barrels of oil, scientists say. But not right away. It will take decades. Shane Jones says patience is key. It's really awesome to see a tree planted eight years ago that's now waist high. But at the end of the day, at the end of my day, we're barely getting started because our main goal with the restoration work that we do here is to basically take actions to then let nature take over. Around the world, experts say, nature offers powerful tools to fight climate change. Nature works slowly, they say, but it works. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Elkins, West Virginia.